abundant high clouds. Look at those lenticulars over Laurel Mountain. A thin layer of high clouds in the morning on Friday made sir, for some pretty good lighting up on the Mammoth Crest as a pair of storms are approaching. The first, an upper level low, closed low, releases a band of moisture toward the area tonight and then a more potent system on Sunday night all the way through Tuesday morning. It is Friday, January 19th, 2024. I think I just heard a robin as this unusual, somewhat unusual compared to last year, was a definitely unusual winter, but there's still a dry ground out here in the meadow. As a pair of storms uh, approach the area, the first one tonight, a closed low brings a, a first round of snow and then a bit of a break, but not really in the mountains. And then another round of snow Sunday night into Monday and all the way through Tuesday morning. Uh, both si systems could bring up to I don't know, three feet of snow in the upper elevations? Time will tell. We'll measure it once it's on the ground on Tuesday morning. It is Friday, January 19th, 2024. Hello everyone, I am uh, Dan McConnell. So abundant cloud cover continues today preceding those two storms that will bring rain and snow to the area into early Tuesday. Today's temps remain somewhat on the mild side with overnight lows just near freezing here in town and highs expected to get into the mid 40s. It was 30 degrees up at the top of Mammoth Mountain this morning, 30 degrees with southwest winds at 25 miles per hour, 32 degrees right over at June Lake at the lake and 40 degrees up at the chalet at June, so the Antler Bar will be serving drinks and those great free views over at June Mountain. Uh, 30 degrees down in Bishop at 7.30 this morning. So the tricky part about the uh, forecast and those two storms approaching is the snow levels, I guess, but they won't fluctuate that much, somewhere between 6,500, 7,000 feet, and then uh, dropping a little bit um, as one of the storms comes in, the second one will drop into the 65, 6 to 6,500 foot level. And so uh, um, then gusty winds in the afternoon on Saturday, then a bit of a break before the next system moves in on Sunday night. And the high end snow estimates for both storms could be near three feet on the mountain, uh, but not much lower, not much in the lower elevation. So we might not get that much snow in town. I doubt if we even get a foot here in town. And if we get that much snow, that would almost double the base depths up at the Mammoth Mountain. It was the, the base depth that Main Lodge is three feet, 52 inches, about four feet up at McCoy Station and four and a half feet up at the main lodge. And so either way, get ready for a stormy weekend with snow in the mountains and kind of wet down here in town. Uh, Mammoth Mountain has 157 round runs open and over at June, they have about 14 runs open and uh, the Antler Bar, if you count that a run. Tamarack Cross Country Ski Center is open. And on this day in history, uh, 1937, Howard Hughes set a transcontinental air record flying from LA to New York City in seven hours and 28 minutes and 25 seconds. I guess they were pretty exact on measuring the time also. Now it takes about five and a half hours. 1957, comedian, Ernie Kovacs did a half hour uh, com a comedy show without saying a word. Yeah, I went to a mime convention once and you could hear a pin drop. Um, it's Edgar Allan Poe's birthday, Gene Stapleton of All in the Family, and Janis Joplin. We all know who she is. Also Robert Palmer. And also a great friend of ours over at, at the dentist's office here in town, Marsha Berry. Uh, happy birthday, Marsha. And Kevin Maxwell, the day after his wife's birthday, Penny. Happy birthday, Kevin. You're probably still out having fun, right? Um, U.S. Forest Service employee that used to live here in Mammoth Lakes, Mike Schlafman's birthday, Laura Nichols' birthday, Liz Murphy, a definitely a local gal. Happy birthday, Liz. And Teddy Fuller used to live here. Now she's up in the Hood River area. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. Get ready for a stormy weekend and we'll measure how much snow we get up on the mountain at least on Tuesday morning. How much snow do you think we'll get and who's going to win the NFL playoff games this weekend? Today is the best day ever. <clears throat> I have to show you this. I'll never understand why people do this. They drive off road with their 
probably four wheel drive trucks or whatever showing off and hopefully most of the time they get stuck but why would you do that just ruining ruining the vegetation